A ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ruled on a case Thursday involving what students are allowed to wear in school. A Northern California high school banned kids from wearing American flag t-shirts on Cinco de Mayo. And they said they did it because the school had a history of difficulties between white people and Latino people. So what was the court ruling? Well, they said the school indeed was permitted to ban the American flag t-shirts because, quote, the school's concern for racial violence took precedence over the students' rights to freedom of expression. The decision of the court was unanimous. And according to court documents, the issue arose after an incident where, quote, a near-violent altercation had erupted during the prior Cinco de Mayo over the display of an American flag. The threats issued in the aftermath of the incidents were so real that the parents of the students involved in the suit kept them home from school two days later. So, uh, here's a situation where not only could I not disagree more with the court, I also think they're kind of stupid. <laughs> I know that's such an arrogant thing to say, but there's no legal basis for what they're, they're saying here. Essentially, their argument is, fuck the law, or fuck the Constitution, keep the peace by any means necessary. And you're not allowed to do that, really. <laughs> like, that's not a decision you can, you're not allowed to put that in your own hands and make that decision when your job as a court is to determine just what is legal and what is not legal or what is constitutional and what is not constitutional. You're not really supposed to care. It's supposed to be chips for fall where they may will tell you what the law is. And they didn't do that. They did the opposite. They said, well, if we actually interpret the law as it's supposed to be interpreted, that might lead to some problems. So we're going to fall on the side of authoritarianism and agree with the actions of the school who over uh, overrode the First Amendment. This is a rare situation. I don't know where, I haven't seen any uh, information about where conservatives f fell on this case versus liberals. I would imagine the conservatives are on the side, yeah, American flag, man, R freedom of speech, man. And some of the liberals might have fallen into the trap and they say, oh, well, you got to respect other cultures and don't rub it in that you're American when they want to celebrate their holiday. Why do you have to get a moment in the sunshine too? So I don't know where they fall, but if that is how they fall, the conservatives would be right in this case. Because, look, man, even if you are being an asshole by wearing an American flag and trying to rub it in people's faces on Cinco de Mayo, like, be American, man, even if you're doing that, okay, you're legally allowed to be an asshole. That's fine. You can be a douchebag all you want. Douche away <laughs> all day and night. Doesn't make it illegal, doesn't make it unconstitutional. And the court is dead wrong on this. Now, not only do they have the First Amendment, you know, right uh, to freedom of expression and freedom of speech that should allow them to... To, to do this. I want to read one more time what it says here because they really don't have an argument, the, the school, and I can't believe they won. Again, they said a near-violent altercation erupted during the previous Cinco de Mayo, and that's what made the school say, this year, no American flag shirts. But wait a second, it's a near-violent altercation, and you're saying no American shirts? So it wasn't even a violent altercation. It wasn't even violent. And you're saying, still, no shirts. We don't want to, you know, make anybody angry here. That's sad. There wasn't even violence, and they're just banning the shirts because it made people angry, or some people angry. And then also, where, when it says, the threats issued in the aftermath after the incidents, so I guess uh, both sides, I guess the Whitey McWhitingtons who were rubbing in the American flag on Cinco de Mayo, uh, I don't know whether it was them threatening the people celebrating Cinco de Mayo, or vice versa, or both. But either way, if there were direct threats of violence issued in the aftermath, which it appears that there were, okay, you can prosecute people for direct threats of violence. Hello, if you know anything about the First Amendment, there are certain, uh, you know, exceptions to freedom of speech. One, uh, The old school examples, you can't scream fire in a movie theater. You can't scream bomb on a plane. You can't uh, do libel or slander. And you can't do direct threats of violence. And if they did that, okay, you could prosecute based on that. You don't need to shit all over the First Amendment. You could go after the specific people who did fucked up shit. Nah, man, look, I'm a, I'm a, 
I am an absolutist for freedom of speech and freedom of expression, okay? And other than the few examples that I laid out that are the all the exceptions that are already there to the First Amendment, other than that, you can't just make shit up and say, we're going to create a new exception. Fuck that. Hell no, hell no. I don't care if anybody gets upset at, oh, I don't like that guy's shirt. Okay, too fucking bad for you. So wait a second. If I see somebody's shirt and I just don't like it, I can start a fight with them and then the school can ban the person from wearing the shirt and then the court will uphold it? So anybody could get pissed off at anybody else's shirt and then uh, and then demand that they take it off. The fuck is that? That's like Soviet Union shit. That's fascism shit. No. I don't care whose feelings are hurt. I don't care who gets offended. You should be able to wear whatever you want to wear. Sorry, it's not that difficult a thing. It's it's right in the First Amendment, man. And for them to override it and just side with the school and be like, yeah, I kind of kept the peace maybe a little bit, so we're just going to go with the school. That's lazy thinking, and that's not legal thinking, and that's sad.